Here is a fun way to estimate the value of the number pi. Imagine a unit square. Now imagine a small square within it with one fourth its area. Now imagine that you throw random darts into this setup. And here is the question. What is the probability that any given dart falls within the small square? Well, there are two ways to answer this. Firstly, since the small square is one fourth the area of the big square, we can see plainly that this probability should also be one over four. In other words, any random dart that you throw has a 1 over 4 chance of falling within the small square. In fact, this probability is simply the fraction of the area of the smaller region compared to the big square. The latter being 1 in this case means this probability is simply the area of the smaller region. The second method is you can throw a bunch of darts and just count how many fall within the small square compared to how many you throw. And sure enough, this comes out to be 1 by 4 also. So we have two methods, one from the area and the other is from throwing random darts. Now imagine a circle inscribed within this unit square. And from our first method, the probability of your random dot falling within it is just its area by r squared. And since r is 1 over 2, this probability is pi by 4. That means pi can be estimated by multiplying the value you get from the second method by 4. And there you have it.